The music world is still reeling from the recent loss of a bona fide legend. On September 1, 2023, at age 76, Jimmy Buffett, the iconic troubadour known for his laid-back tunes and timeless hits, passed away. In this video, we'll take a look at the life and music of this artist while exploring the heart-wrenching details of the disease that claimed his life. Facts First presents the rare and shocking disease that killed Jimmy Buffett. Facing the Unpredictable the concern for Jimmy Buffett's well-being and health had been mounting for some time amongst his fans and the music community at large, especially in the months leading to his passing. These concerns were crystallized by his hospitalization in May of 2023, which led to the unavoidable yet disappointing rescheduling of several highly anticipated tour dates. His sudden hospitalization without immediate explanation was a jarring development and stunned those who had long followed his illustrious career. His music career was a remarkable journey, characterized not only by chart-topping hits, but also the sheer scale of his success. With album sales numbering in the tens of millions and a touring schedule that consistently sold out stadiums and arenas around the globe, he was a titan of the music industry. While Margaritaville may likely be the Buffett song that first comes to mind, his repertoire also included gems like Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes, Fins, and A Pirate Looks at 40, all of which contributed to his status as an enduring musical icon. With his catchy, uplifting, and unforgettable melodies, his music became the soundtrack of liberation and libation, ferrying audiences off to carefree moments and joyful experiences best accompanied by a rum-infused tropical mixed drink topped with a paper umbrella. As the summer of 2023 unfolded, it became increasingly evident that something ominous and foreboding was happening. In late August, the news of Buffett's entry into hospice care deeply shook his devoted fan base, highlighting the sobering fact that not even the most enduring and cherished figures in the entertainment world are immune to the frailties of the human experience. After months of many unanswered questions, the somber yet not entirely unexpected news finally came on September 1, 2023, that Jimmy Buffett, at age 76, had passed away at his home in Sag Harbor, New York. His departure left longing among fans who had accompanied him through the sun-soaked melodies of his greatest hits, the whimsy of his lyrics, and the nostalgia of his tunes. The loss of this legendary songwriter was not just a moment for reflection, but also a time to remember the extraordinary career and music of a man who had achieved remarkable sales and touring feats while crafting the soundtrack to countless beachside adventures. Behind the tragic loss lay a battle against an uncommon adversary, Merkel cell carcinoma, a rare and aggressive skin cancer that had reportedly been diagnosed four years earlier. Battling Merkel Cell Carcinoma Merkel Cell Carcinoma, the rare and insidious skin cancer that claimed Jimmy Buffett's life, is a condition that few were familiar with until his diagnosis. With fewer than 3,000 cases diagnosed in the U.S. every year, it stands as an outlier among skin cancers, despite being the most widespread form of the disease in the country. Named after German scientist Friedrich Merkel, who first identified the Merkel cells in 1875, this condition occurs when these cells grow uncontrollably. While the exact causes of Merkel cell carcinoma remain somewhat elusive, experts believe it's linked to factors such as UV light exposure, a weakened immune system due to age or underlying diseases, and the Merkel cell polyoma virus, MCV, discovered in 2008, which is found in nearly all of the tumors of this cancer. Remarkably, almost everyone gets MCV as a child, yet it usually remains asymptomatic. Merkel cell carcinoma tends to manifest on areas of the body frequently exposed to the sun, like the face, neck, or arms, though it can also emerge in unexpected locations, like inside the nose or esophagus. It typically presents as a raised red or purple lump or pimple, distinguishing it from melanoma, another serious skin cancer that appears as a dark spot. A Merkel cell carcinoma may resemble a cyst, and it often lacks the painful quality associated with cysts. Jimmy Buffett's four-year battle with this aggressive cancer reflects the potential challenges one may face when diagnosed. Early detection can significantly improve the chances of survival, with approximately 75% of those diagnosed having a five-year survival rate. 
Once the cancer has advanced beyond the skin, the likelihood of five-year survival drops drastically to 24%. The aggressive nature of the disease, coupled with its tendency to recur after treatment, underscores its status as the second most common cause of skin cancer deaths following melanoma. While research on this cancer remains limited due to its rarity, the American Cancer Society recommends that those diagnosed at any stage consider participating in clinical trials to access the latest treatments. Buffett wasn't alone in his cancer battle. While Jimmy Buffett faced the trials of Merkel cell carcinoma, he potentially found some solace in the company of another remarkable person who has shared a parallel journey. Terry Bradshaw, the esteemed Hall of Fame quarterback and renowned sports commentator, joined the ranks of those who confronted this adversary a little over a year ago. In 2022, as the autumn football season unfolded, viewers of Fox NFL Sunday couldn't help but notice Bradshaw's rapidly deteriorating appearance. Social media platforms buzzed with concern as he appeared to have gained weight and exhibited unsteadiness on his feet. In November 2021, Bradshaw revealed his diagnosis of bladder cancer, which he triumphantly overcame following treatment at Yale University Medical Center in New Haven. However, Bradshaw's journey took an unforeseen turn in March of 2022 when he grappled with neck issues. Initially attributing them to his NFL career's toll on his body, he eventually sought medical evaluation, leading to an MRI that unveiled a mass in the left side of his neck. Biopsy results confirmed this was Merkel cell carcinoma. Following a surgery to remove it, Bradshaw shared that the swelling in his face resulted from radiation therapy, which maintained fluid in his face and jaw while leaving one side partially numb. Bradshaw's cancer battle has closely paralleled Buffett's, further underscoring the significance of early detection, timely medical intervention, as well as the courage it takes to share one's experience with this rare yet formidable cancer. Learning from Buffett and Bradshaw the experiences of Terry Bradshaw and Jimmy Buffett stress the critical importance of vigilant self-care and proactive health monitoring. In a world where unexpected health challenges can arise at any moment, it's crucial to pay attention to any unusual symptoms your body may be signaling. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about Jimmy Buffett's rare cancer? Did you know that Terry Bradshaw also suffers from it? Let us know in the comments section below.